10 Places to See in Australia Australia, the world's smallest continent and largest island, is a traveler's dream. With coral reefs, magnificent rainforests, red-earthed national parks, stunning beaches, and scorching deserts. From Kangaroo Island to the lush rainforest of the Daintree, the iconic Great Barrier Reef and the beaches of the Whitsunday Islands are among Australia's most popular tourist destinations. But there is so much more to see and do in Australia, and in today's video, we have listed the top 10 places to visit. But before we jump into the video, make sure that you have smashed the subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 10. The Great Barrier Reef With over 2 million tourists each and every year, the Great Barrier Reef is one of Australia's most popular attractions, generating 5 to $6 billion per year. There is no doubt that the reef is huge, with about 3,000 different reefs, 900 islands, and 2,600 kilometers of expansive area. This unique system is only one of the living structures visible from space. Unfortunately, the reef is battling to survive, with climate change being the most serious risk. Rising temperatures and contamination by tourists have made coral more vulnerable to bleaching. Surprisingly, sun creams also play a vital role in the degradation of the coral reef, which eventually leads to the death of these reefs. It has become a major concern for the Australian government and environmentalists. Efforts are being made to limit sediment flow, and sophisticated laboratory techniques allow robust corals to be grown away from the reef and placed back into the wild when they mature. Furthermore, while tourism contributes to the reef's issues, it's also a part of the solution. The money generated from coral tourism has significantly helped reef conservation and the government in preserving this natural wonder. Number 9. Pinnacles Moving to the western part of Australia, we can find the Pinnacles. These are natural limestone structures formed 25 to 30,000 years ago, located in Nambung National Park, not far away from the small town of Cervantes in western Australia. Because of their distinct location, the stunning limestone structures were mostly forgotten until 1967 when a reserve was established to safeguard the iconic pillars. The pinnacles rise steeply from the desert floor and resemble aged tombstones, and as the sand from the coastal dunes continually drift, they create a stunning sight. Some pinnacles can rise to 3.5 meters above the golden sand foundation. Some pinnacles form mushroom-like crowns when the culcrete cap is tougher than the limestone layer underneath it. While there are questions over how their particular forms evolved, it's widely acknowledged that they are built of limestone from seashells since the region was submerged millennia ago. In pinnacles, you can also find western grey kangaroos, as well as emu, dingo, and honey possum, and this should be a part of your watch list. Number 8. Alice Springs if you want to experience the ancient landscapes of Australia's deserts, from dry riverbeds to rich woods blending with life as you walk through the desert park and immerse yourself in the beauty and mystery of the deserts, then Alice Springs is the place for you. Alice Springs, commonly known as the Red Centre, is located in central Australia, an arid region composed of various deserts. However, the route to Alice Springs is a bit tiring, yet totally worth it. If you enjoy wildlife, then the Desert Wildlife Park in Alice Springs is worth visiting. You may also visit the Nocturnal House, where you can see reptiles, invertebrates, birds, and mammals that are active at night that were once abundant throughout the desert. If you want to learn about Aboriginal history, tradition, and culture, it is an excellent place to visit, with several excellent museums, Indigenous Australian art galleries, and a sizable Aboriginal community. Number 7. The Daintree Rainforest the Daintree Rainforest is one of the oldest and most unique tropical rainforests globally. It is located on the northeast coast of Australia, and the best way to reach nature's paradise is from Cairns, which takes about a three-hour drive away from the state of Queensland. It is home to a sizable proportion of the country's animal population, comprising 30% of Australia's frog population, 65% of its butterfly and bat populations, and almost 12,000 distinct insect species. The state of Queensland is famous for its spectacular fauna and flora, and its ancient ecosystems, which are wonderful to explore and are home to a variety of creatures. The Daintree is made up of rocky mountains, gushing rivers, rich coral reef systems, and stunning beaches, in addition to its lush and green forests. Aside from strolling through the dense vegetation and enjoying the sights of birds and wildlife, popular activities include paddleboarding, ziplining through the canopy, and sailing along with one of the region's rivers. 
Number 6. Kings Canyon The Kings Canyon, located in Australia's Northern Territory's Watarka National Park, is guaranteed to astound you with its amazing grandeur, scale, and beauty. This magnificent structure is one of the region's greatest attractions and was formed over 400 million years ago as the ruddy-colored sandstone eroded. The gigantic canyon's walls soar over 100 meters in height, cutting through the arid desert landscape, with a little stream and flora forming the base of this amazing place. The King's Canyon Rimwalk is one of the area's most stunning tracks with breathtaking views of the Red Rock environment. The Rimwalk will take three to four hours and is best during sunrise. It also features iconic locations along the famous walk, such as the weathered domes of the Lost City and the Garden of Eden. Whether you're lounging in the shade or climbing along its edges, there are jagged cliffs, intriguing rock formations, and breathtaking landscapes to behold. Number 5. Blue Mountains One of the most popular and breathtaking places that you need to visit in Australia is the Blue Mountains, located in West Sydney in New South Wales. It is composed of gorgeous mountains, plateaus, and cliffs, delightful to explore and ideal for a leisurely day trip or on the weekend. It is named after the mountains because of the foggy haze produced by the oil extracted from their inexhaustible eucalyptus trees and is home to a rich and tranquil environment. Many well-maintained hiking routes and mountain biking tracks make their way across the area, with breathtaking sights from Echo Point to Govet's Leap. Because the mountains have long been home to the Gundungurra and the Darug people, this is also an excellent place to learn about Aboriginal history and culture. Number 4. Kangaroo Island well, how can we forget about kangaroos in the land of kangaroos? Next, we have Kangaroo Island on our list, which is located close to the coast of South Australia and is also the third largest island in Australia. Its diverse natural reserves include massive dunes, towering cliffs, vast caverns, and amazing rock formations. Its charmingly untouched terrain is home to an abundance of animals, making it one of Australia's most popular tourist attractions. These are home to echidnas, koalas, and kangaroos, as well as penguins, sea lions, and dolphins. Its varied landscapes are ideal for various outdoor activities, including hiking, sandboarding, and scuba diving. Number 3. Whitsunday Islands The Whitsunday Islands are one of Australia's most famous tourist attractions, dispersed off Queensland's northeastern coast near the Great Barrier Reef. As it is a part of the Great Barrier Reef, most of the archipelago is protected as a national park. The Whitsunday Islands are a terrific destination to go with family and have fun with many activities such as snorkeling and scuba diving. The archipelago of the Whitsunday Islands is famous for its Whitehaven Beach, which is one of the most stunning beaches in the world. Although the Whitsunday Islands are most well known for their natural beauty, they also happen to be home to some of its oldest aboriginal archaeological sites. Number 2. Ayers Rock The Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is a massive sandstone monolith in the arid red center of the Northern Territory. Uluru is considered holy by indigenous Australians and is supposed to have been formed roughly 550 million years ago. It's part of the Uluru Katajuta National Park, featuring the Katajuta Red Center's 36 red rock domes. It is another popular tourist destination in Australia and is one of the biggest monoliths in the world. This magnificent red monolith of sandstone rock rises over 348 meters in height and is one of the greatest places in Australia for hiking. It is a fantastic place to visit and is the major reason the national park is so popular. Its majesty and one-of-a-kind linger in the minds of those who visit it. While Uluru is the primary attraction, the equally stunning rock formations of Katajuta are worth exploring too, and there are many more activities for tourists to enjoy. The place is of immense cultural and spiritual value to the Anangu Aboriginal people. The breathtaking grandeur of this national park is truly awe-inspiring, with several fantastic hikes, bike rides, excursions, and much more to do. Number 1. Sydney Opera House The Sydney Opera House is an architectural spectacle that has graced the UNESCO's World Heritage Site list. A visit to Australia without witnessing this stunning beauty is a sin, and we would never let you commit that sin. Besides the architectural excellence, you can experience the cultural richness, vibrant performances, and a moment worth cherishing for the rest of your life. The Sydney Opera House resembles huge shells angularly stacked one over the other. 
It's a comprehensive tour because there is nothing that you cannot do here. From attending choir performances and dining at one of the most expensive restaurants to going on a guided tour around the Opera House, it's an enticing package of beauty and joy. Well, that's it for today's video, folks. Comment below your favorite destinations that you would like to travel to in Australia. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and if you're looking for more interesting content, then hit the subscribe button for future updates.